Hello, this is Nuclear Rabbit, and today I'm going to be playing a uh, what does we call it? Singer Bob. We start off by buying two maces and getting our stealth because you can't get a damaging war cry until level 30. So you kind of just have to play normal as any other builds you like. You can do anything you want. I don't recommend whirlwind. But for the rest, it's uh, you can do anything you want. So in the meanwhile, we are beating down and Daryl after eating some antidotes. And yeah, and there it goes down fine. Just nothing special going on yet. We then have our one and only almost death experience of the entire run. Because well, this if if you ever wanna get a guaranteed guardian, this is the character for you. So the weapons I made are a steel and a tall 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 flail, and I'm gonna be using those for all of normal. Because yeah, that kind of nuts. Uh, so uh, a thing I did that I kind of did by accident. This is player five Duriel. I forgot to turn back the player count. And yeah, you can see this is still perfectly fine. Like this character just doesn't really die. I ended up just not even bothering with battle orders in the in hell. So that until I had all of my damaging stuff uh, done. So that should tell you a lot. So in Act Three, then we found our amulet. It's a one war price with 14 MF, 20 life, which is really good. We end up getting a Saurus's boots as well. The iron heal, 20 run, 25 fire resist very good you can easily clear the game with we found this set bone wand which is sanders which is a nice thing to use until you get spirit the spirit will be after you get uh, level 30 because you can't get a four socket sword in normal well you can from the cow level but i don't want to use a socket quest for something i can easily find in nightmare anyway we are at mephisto as you can tell this character is doing perfectly fine the 225 poison damage plus the open wounds really wears on a boss and uh, this is the best, bo best boss killing this character will ever do, so uh, enjoy it, because th these are the short fights. <laughs> oh man, did I have some fights. Uh, then I decided I'm a gambling maniac, and I decided to gamble circlets, and I actually got a live double rest uh, circlet. We, uh, yeah, then nothing else happens until we get to the Hellforge, where I get some stuff, which is, oh, an Atom, I got an Atom, yay. And I uh, fast forwarded to Diablo 5 because, yeah, these fights take forever and I don't want the video to be an hour long. I, I actually ended up cutting some of the boss fights uh, footage in, in the later game because one of my boss fights was literally 30 minutes. So. Anyway, this is Diablo normal as you can tell. Just do a lot of dodging, go in for a hit, trigger the open wounds and the poison and run away again. Uh, Diablo normal, very dangerous fight as you can tell. But yeah... Um, I needed to fast forward. This was like a 10 minute fight. This is literally me just draining Diablo of all his life uh, by tapping him every once in a while. Also, I do think he looks cool in green. Not gonna lie. I think he actually really looks cool in, in the poison color. Welcome back, my friend. Then we get uh, to level uh, level 30, so I respec into a singer uh, now. I, want, I was gonna do a singer guide originally, but I ended up just going singer. So this is my skill. I do have five in battle orders there because that's because I didn't realize how buff this character is. I ended up respecking in hell again and just getting rid of the bow until like level 70. Then I equip the Sanders and this is how every fight for this character looks. Yeah, lots of raw 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 going on. It's his raw 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 poker face. I don't know. But yeah, everything is just stunned. Like this character will not die. So I have bow here, but look at my life total. Nothing is happening. Uh, that's just the the whole thing for this character. And that's two. Yeah, that, that, that's it. That, this character just doesn't give a fuck about anything. Like, this is one of the harder fights in normal, and it's like, yeah, have fun with that. There's gonna be a lot of just things being stunned. However, you can't. St can stun egg bosses, so this, uh, yeah, this will be fast forward. This is build normal, and look how this goes. This is, uh, if you want a pure magic finding character, this is not for you. However, if you want a character that's very safe throughout the game and can play everywhere, 
This is your character. You could, you could like get a mercenary and get him a lot of crushing blow. That would help. And the reason I had Berserk's back was because I wanted to go and use a weapon and hit uh, physical immune. But you have so little attack rating and so little uh, damage from the attacking that it's just not worth. I would not recommend backing it to Berserk at all. Yeah, we are now a destroyer. Destroyer. Then in help of in uh, sorry in nightmare we get our helmet, our horned helmet with plus two battle orders, which we don't really need, but it's way better than what we're using. And we get our first four socket swords. So this is why I didn't want to use a socket quest. Something a lot of speedrunners do is go to the cow level and then find the four socket sword there. But you can very easily find them in the tower in nightmare, as you can tell. Like I'm not even done running counters. For the runes and i already have the two swords uh, we found a gold skin as well which is not very interesting for me because i want the faster cast rate but yeah so we uh, get a spirit and another spirit and now we have plus four skills a lot of vitality lots of mana and from this point on this character basically can't die so here we are horking and then there he rah 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 more more rah 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 and this, that, that's just all this character does really just like stand there the poison damage is hacking in though that i can't deny that so lots of poison damage going on And then I use the socket quest because I found a bill and I'm gonna add four sockets to that so I can get my mana problems fixed by making a Ralt at all soul inside. We get for the meditation aura. I don't really care about the damage on this or anything. And I get a new mercenary in Act 2 as well. Oh, I also use the one war cry that makes them deal less damage. So now I'm really just gone, tanky. And you can see the mana just being very doable now. I had to use bring mana pots all the time before this also i'm just standing in Duriel. that's kind of gross not gonna lie like i'm up his butt And that's Duriel. I, I end up using my imbue on a demon hide sash. See if I get anything better than what I'm wearing. This is okay. It has resists. And I find a Lochaber axe. Lochaber axe. The meat scraper. Which is a very powerful mercenary weapon. And I ended up just switching this. For when I needed the open wounds and the damage on the mercenary. So I'm usually using the inside. Yeah, in the meanwhile, we are killing Mephisto. As you can tell, I'm just not even bothering really doing anything and not taking any damage. This, yeah, I mean, we're, we're preventing like 40% damage at this point while being insanely tanky. It is weird though that you can stun everything but egg bosses. Like, there, there should be some mechanic there. Like, not fully stunning them, but you should be able to do something with them. One thing though, if you uh, want to play this character, you should. This is very fun. Also, we found the ball room, which is great. Diablo time.
one thing I should mention that the inside does that you'll see later in the run as well is uh, the inside does elemental damage and that's what I end up using to get rid of physical immunes. You'll see it a few times, but you mostly just really want to dodge physical immunes with this build because it's not very good against those. In the meanwhile, we are uh, rattling down Diablo. It takes a while, but I just wanted to give one not fast forwarded fight to just show like how long a random boss fight takes. And this is a nightmare. We are dealing most of our damage at this point. You can get some plus skills. We also found another sandwich, but we don't need it anymore. And then we get to Eldritch, where I find the best item I could ever find for the skater. I find the skin of the Viper Magi. The, and which, which is just an insane item. It's resist all, it's faster cost rate, it's plus skill. I immediately put some MF on it. And almost Horka Shaco. I'm not kidding. I almost went uh, Viper Magic Shaco. And then it's time for the Ancients or Nightmare, which are a very uh, stunning fight. Well, yeah, if you don't like stuns, this run is going to be very stun ish <laughs> I hate myself for that joke. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, you can see how this is just basically free, right? Just make sure you don't run out of mana. Also, that fire damage was insane. But yeah, we uh, are fast forwarding build. This is once again times 8 or times 16, I can't remember, but just. And then we are a conqueror. So what I decided to do in hell was, uh, oh yeah, first I did uh, this. As you can tell, you're not very good at dealing with uh, physical news. Also, this is the fastest my laptop will actually speed up the fight. This is times 32. So yeah, physical immunes are a problem. But the mercenary does get it done. After that I decide to grind the pits a bit because I want to get my damage to maxed out and meanwhile I find a Malrune, I found a Tal Rush, it's a rather crash. I did like 20-25 runs or something and I found an Umrun as well. I end up not really using them. I also found a Trang Ul's armor which is nice. It's a cool armor. Like if I ever do a uh, summoning Necro I really hope I find this armor. It's so cool for that build. I found a Tal Rush as well. As well. Only 11% of math though, but it is what it is. And with that, this is my gear before I get into really getting into hell. So I'm gonna do like Andario now. I am pretty high level, I grinded a bunch. I really wanted to max out my uh, my damage from the war cry. So I've gone max uh, the war cry, max all the synergies, one in all the one point wonders. I removed the point from Berserk and stuff, I respect for it. And I just have all the- I have one in battle orders right now. I, I'll, I'll start pumping it up again because I'm just uh, wanting to, you know, like... I need to do something with my points. I max on resist and everything as well. And I'm just yeah, not dying, so... Uh, yeah, that's the smith. Here we are for Antario. So third time's the charm. And yeah, we don't really get below 3000 HP. This, yeah, if you ever wanted to get the achievement for clearing the game on hell with a hardcore character, but this is your character. This character is so tanky. It will not die.
what you usually want to do while fighting is just uh, spam the minus damage thing and then just yeah, do this. The ball fight, nothing special happened in Act 2, and I just want to show off like how tanky this build is. This is Duriel Hell. And yeah, we're basically on Twink. I found one skin of the Viper Magi, which is insane, but the rest of these items are really good. And I could have easily done this with a stealth as well. and shot away. Dury are just not even a threat. That's Durio, one of the hard hardest fights in the game. Well, this is Mephisto, which is not one of the hardest fights in the game. So one thing I do recommend if you play this character is just maxing out your damage first. You're you're insanely tanky no matter what you do, and your items are really cheap. Like you you can easily uh, clear the game with a stealth with this build. And yeah, I got lucky on the uh, skin of the Viper Magi, but you can just farm more. You know, like I end up pretty high level in this build, but that's because I wanted to max all the synergies because I wanted the damage. But you can tell this is not a lot of damage. So all in all, just a build that very much just. Yeah, slow and steady wins the race is what they say, and this build is the absolute living proof of that. Oh, also, I find Drax. I forgot about that. I found Drax. Here we go, he faster the armor, also physical immune and just not happening, so I ended up respawning him. And this is Holy Freeze, he faster the armor with a bunch of minions around him. And this is just, I have a few fights in it that are just to show off how this build does in the rest of the game. And uh, yeah, this is just how this character plays, like, he faster is not hitting. And we have the Hellforge, I end up with a perfect emerald, a flawless diamond, a flawless ruby and a gall rune. And here we are for Diablo. And as I mentioned a few times already, not a great boss killer, but a very uh, safe one. So while I do have the time during this fight, if there are any builds you want me to play solo self down through the game, I always play hard. I don't enjoy the game on uh, software. I just don't. Like, I don't like games where I can't lose. If you want me to play any sort of build, just let me know. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. I don't know why, why I put up that voice. In the meanwhile, Diablo falls over and dies. And here are the ancients really, really fast forward because this fight takes forever. But look at how safe this is. <laughs> that sounds so funny. <laughs> it's like it's like a bunch of squirrels attacking or a bunch of birds or something but yeah this is the ancient hell fight one of the, the literal hardest fights in the game and this bop don't give a shit about it 
Although I do almost end up running out of mana, but I can deal with that. I'm just kind of pacing myself here with the uh, with the war cries to stun him because I'm just almost out of mana. That's actually quite a nice beat there. But yeah, as you can tell, this is just completely free. Like the entire game is free for this build. I mean, to give you an inclination about my stats, I have 3602 HP. I basically max resist all, I believe. Yeah, like nothing's gonna kill this. Oh, here we go. So yeah, Max, uh, Fire, Cold, and Lightning. Nobody cares about Poison, just by Antidote. See, some good. See, I started maxing Battle Orders. Oh, I also hawked a rare item. So almost the Griffins. And I did find a less rate. Like this build's finding a lot of items for characters I don't have. So yeah, just hawking my way through the minions. I uh, ended up cutting this fight short. Guardian, congrats. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.